Hi, okay, I'm back. I have um, glued all my trinkets and treasures on here, so I'll just take you by real closely so you can see. I did do um, the hinge here. I have a little butterfly with one of Tim's little um, pen quill. I have the frame. I did get some beads in there, so no, it's probably hard for you guys to see. Let me see if I put it on autofocus. There we go. So let's see if I can hold this still so you can see it there. There you go. Beads right there. And I have some metal flowers, a little heart gear, the leaf. And behind here is a cameo, metal cameo, tiny little bee, flowers, my little cherub's feet right here. <laughs> I love that. Um, and then here's that close-up of that pin. Let's see if I can get it to focus here for you guys. All right, there we go. So you can see there's the ballerinas, the sun, the little car, heart. And then I have the journey and a little key with the snap on there. Some cheesecloth. There we go. Come on. And then there's a wooden Paris. So what we're ready to do now, let me just take it off of autofocus here. We're ready to put the black gesso. So I've already gone ahead and done that on the sides and in the back. So that will be ready to go. So remember, this was all the white texture paste. And now we're going to add some black gesso all over our metals and everything. Then I'll let that dry and then I'll come back. So, some black gesso. I'll take a little bit of this out. I'm going to get some water in here also. So, and I don't really need it so thick, so I'm going to add some water here with Tim's new Distress Sprayer. And I'm just going to go ahead and black gesso everything. Metals, all of it. And then we'll come back and use some sprays. And... I'm going to put some beads on here. I'm also going to use the mica powders. So, let's give you a quick look on how it's coming along. I'm going to cover up all those holes in the butterfly. And then cover everything, the metals and all. Make some more here. And a little bit more water. I'm going to bring it up a little bit closer so you guys can see. And then I'll move this down. There you go. So I'm going to finish this side. It's my cheesecloth on here. You get in behind here. I don't want any of the white showing, so I want to make sure we cover all of that. Frame, a little heart gear. And it looks scary, doesn't it, that it's all black, but you'll see it look, it'll look really nice once we get all the colors in here. Make sure we get the sides here. Cheesecloth. It's one of the Prima leaves. If you have that dye, I love that dye with the leaves. So there you can see a close-up of the cameo. I think you can see it. It's kind of black now. <laughs> it would be hard.
hard to get inside there. So let's see if I can get in there. I thought this up just a little bit. Squeeze that brush in there. Might have to re glue that one. I really should have let it dry a little bit longer, but I'm trying to get this done without having this video too long. <laughs> Still gonna see some of the white, I think. I'm not gonna be able to get all the way in there. The brush is not long enough. Not too bad. I do want to cover this. I don't want this to, um, I should have put a piece of washi tape on here. Oh, let's see if I have a little wet one. I think it's off. Uh, let's see if I have some tape here. I can just put it on real quick. There we go. I'm just going to take a little washi tape and cover that up. And this will be kind of my first uh, YouTube that I'm not really good at editing, so we'll see how it goes. So I just want to cover up the, the glass part. That's pretty good. journey in there. All flowers. Legs. I haven't decided what color I'm going to use in here. I think probably more like blue and purple. See how it goes. I want to cover up the green parts of the roses. I should cover this. I have the air on, so. And then I have some little chains that dangle. I don't know if you can tell that they dangle. I'm going to cover those as well. Let me get them up here. Get down inside here. It's a hard part trying to cover up all the white, all the white. So, make sure get that cheesecloth in there. I need a little bit more just so we'll see. Make sure I get all my prima leaves here. My other letters, I'm doing white um, with, um, I'm not sure what colors, but I'll be doing those uh, on my Ustream show on Wednesday night. If you'd like to watch that. 
All right, I think I've got them almost all covered. So let's see how much more we need. Just a little bit more. Try to get in here. In here. They have to glue that crown down just a little bit. Kind of loose. Down in my leaves. I have to get in between there. See, I can still see in between those leaves and on the upper bottoms. And if we don't get every single one of them, it's okay. It's all okay. Get that on the sides here. And I like to just hold it upside down so then you can just double check. And then you can see those chains there now. I think pretty much everything is covered. I can't wait to the paint. So I'm going to go ahead and let this dry. So now I have it all covered. Let me just get a little bit more in here on this side. I think that's good. Okay, so there it is. So everything is all covered in black now. You can see that. Oh, I see that little orange peeking through there. Let's see if we can get that. Right there. That's good. All right, so then I will be back.